You remember the story of Albert Einstein, the, uh, the scientist who discovered the theory of relativity. Well, on a particular day, some reporters came to his wife and they said to his wife, do you understand this theory of relativity? And she said, no, she said, I don't understand it, but I know my Albert and I know that he can be trusted. She was confident that what her husband said was the absolute truth, that it was rock bottom solid. The Apostle Paul writes the same way in chapter 1 and verse 6, and he talks about something that we can have confidence in, and it's the promises of God. It's a powerful promise that when you and I allow to embrace our lives, it changes our perspective on how we look at other people and also how we see the story that God is unfolding in our lives. And he writes, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Let me unpack that truth with you for just a few moments. Because as we are talking about what it means to be up, let me say this, that confident people are up people. Because when you know who you're trusting in, it is so much different than what you're trusting in. And of course, we are trusting in Jesus Christ, if that's the choice that you've made. And Paul writes this, be confident in what God has done for you. What was it that he's done for us? He died on the cross. Jesus died on the cross for my sins. He's paid the price. And then he says, we can be confident in what he is currently doing for you. And even as we walk through pain and suffering or the issues of life, he is there with us because he will never fail us or forsake us. And then he says, be confident of what God will do for you in the future. Because Paul was looking forward, he saw the spiritual life as a journey that one day Christ would also come back and take us to be with himself. He said, Jesus is the one who has began to do the good work and he is going to bring it to completion, which is referring to that ultimate day when Christ will come back and we will be with him. You see, Paul was talking to these Christians and he was sure that God was going to bring them through what they're going through. This confidence is not just something that's a theory, but it was a reality that was changing his life even as he was there in a prison cell. It was a reality that has gripped Christians throughout the centuries and can grip you today. Because many times the people have said, the church will not last, the Christians will not last. Back in AD 300, Diocletian was the Roman emperor. And he said that he was going to destroy all Christians. But in 325 AD, Constantine became the emperor. And he declared that Christianity would be the, the faith of the Roman empire. And then remember the French Revolution, the French uh, philosopher Voltaire, he said that within 20 to 25 years that every Bible would be destroyed. But what happened, Voltaire died, and the humorous side of it is that the Bible Society bought his home and put up a printing press right where he had made this great declaration. God has a humorous way and a powerful way of building his church. It's confidence that you and I can live with. And if God is going to do that for his church, he's also going to do it for you and I as we're we're part of his church. Who are you trusting in today, despite your messes and your mix-ups? Know this, that God is at work in your life. Look to him for strength. Look to him for help. Be confident of this, that God is doing his work in your life today.